Watch this video now if you're looking how to configure your email autoresponder in ClickFunnels using Cloudflare and SendGrid. Because you too want to use Cloudflare and SendGrid, right? If so, keep watching this video until the end because the solution is coming up. So after following the newbie's first step video, you need to create a SendGrid account. So go ahead and do it. Once you have created it, you can go to the ClickFunnels support page you're watching right now, or you can just follow me by watching this video. Because what you need to do is exactly what I'm doing right now. Copy the SMTP server in your ClickFunnels account. So go to your ClickFunnels dashboard, click on my account, and finally on the SMTP settings that is located on the left-hand side column. And what you need to do is fill out the boxes, as I'm showing you right now. After you finish filling out all the boxes, click the Update Email Settings button. Right after that, take a look at the lower right-hand corner to see if you did it successfully. Right after that, click the Verify Email Settings button. You are going to receive an email from ClickFunnels telling you that you, are, that you are ready and all set up. Now open up one of your active funnels. Next, click on the Edit Page button and wait for a few seconds. What I am showing you right now is that you do not need to come here to this part of the funnel and configure the autoresponder integration because what you just did is the autoresponder integration for SendGrid. One of the final steps is that you need to go to the part of your sales funnel where you have the email opt-in form and make sure that in the URL forward slash action box you have exactly what you are seeing on my screen. Once you are done with the ClickFunnels configuration, go back to the Cloudflare panel and add two more records like I'm going to be showing you in a few seconds. The first one is an A record and what you need to put next is mail dot and then your domain name. In my case, I'm putting joaquinpalacios.com. Then go to your hosting account or domain name account from the advanced DNS editor and grab the A type record number like I am showing you right now. Paste it in the IPv4 address box. Finally, click the add record button. Now you are going to create an MX record. In the first box, type the add symbol. In the second box, type mail dot your domain name, put the priority to zero and click the save button. And make sure that the three clouds are active and you can tell because they are orange. With this final step, you are done. Now go to step three. 